So in this video, I'm going to discuss about the Verilog coding of a array multiplier. Now, here I will show you how to do Verilog coding for two bit array multiplier. So in this case, each of the number is having two bit. Suppose if we consider two numbers are as A1, A0 and B1, B0. And if I want to get the multiplication result of this number, I need to use array multiplier. OK, so how to do multiplication? This is well known to everyone. If you do the multiplication, what you need to do? That is the first result is A0, B0 means B0 has to be multiplied with A0 component. Then you need to multiply B0 with A1. So A1, B0. After that, B1 has to be multiplied with A0. So A0 into B1. Then you need to multiply B1 with A1. So B1 with A1. So what is the result? You need to add some of this component in the vertical direction. That is A0, B0. Then the next component, what you need to do? You need to sum up these two components. And uh, this component is nothing but A1 B0 plus A0 B1 and the last component is B1 A1. OK, so this is the procedure generally we will follow to do the multiplication of two number where each of the number is having two two bit. So it's a two bit array. Each of the number is two bit number. So it means that it's a two bit array. So suppose you can take one zero is one of the number, another number is zero one. So if you want to do the multiplication of these two number, how to do? So in uh, digital electronics, there is one circuit which is known as array multiplier, which can be used to do the multiplication of these two number. Okay, where each of the number is having two bit. Now you can easily understand what should be the circuit. If you have this component, what should be the circuit? You need to get this component A zero B zero. You need to get A one B zero. You need to get A zero. B1, you need to get A1, B1, and some summation result, you, and you, you need to get some summation. So, for that, this circuit is provided where you can see this is the input A0, this is the input A1, this is the input B1, this is the input B0. So, first component, if you can remember, the first component was A0, B0. So, how to get this A0 is coming here, B0 is there. So, you need to use one uh, AND gate. Okay, so this is the sum result. So ultimately, what are the results we are going to get? This result is S0, this result is S1, this result is S2, and if some carry is generated from this MSB bit, so we'll consider it as S3. Okay, so these are the four output lines we are going to get from this circuit. So in the first component, you see there is no requirement of any addition. We have to do just multiplication A0 and B0 means it's an end operation. So directly you can get the result from the output of end, end gate that is S0. So uh, this is the result output of this end gate that is A0, B0. Likewise, in the next case, you need to get the component A1, B0. So if you see here A1, B0, how to get this A1, B0. So this end gate will give A1, B0. And you need to get the next component that is A1, B0. So uh, so this A1, B0, I already got here. Then the next component is uh, A0, B1. So A0, B1, you can get from the output of this AND gate, that is uh, A0, B1, OK? And finally, the last component, which is uh, A1, B1. So A1, B1, you can get from this AND gate, that is A1, B1, OK? Now, after that, you know, you need to sum up these two components here. A0, B, A1, B0 has to be added with A0, B1. So what you need to do if you have these two components, what you need to add? In that case, you know, a very simple circuit is there that is known as half adder. So you can see one of the input is coming from here, another input is coming from here. And from the half adder, you will be getting two output. One is sum result. This is the sum result and carry result. 
If it is there, then you need to propagate to the next stage. You can understand it very well. If there is some carry generated from this some result that you need to propagate to the next stage. And that carry has to be added with this component. Okay. So you see here, whatever the end result you are getting, A1, B1, that is uh, added with the carry result of the previous stage and it is given to the half header. And from there, you'll be getting two components. One is the sum result, one is the carry result. You know, in case of half header, two inputs are there and two outputs are there. One is sum, one is carry. Okay. So in this case, uh, this sum you can consider as S2 and the carry result you can consider is S3. And I already mentioned here also. The carry result is some carry is there here that I'll consider as S3. Okay. So this is all about the circuit. Okay. Now I have to do a very low coding of this particular thing. Now how to do? So we'll use model C. Do the very low coding. You have to follow some steps in model scene. So first of all, uh, let me make some folder. I'm giving the name as uh, as array multi Okay. So I shall save my project here. So what do you need to do? Go to file option, then uh, new. Project here you give a suitable name. The underscore M I'm giving you can give you a suitable name. Then I need to browse the file uh, folder. So I want to save this project in my desktop. Desktop this folder with here. Is there a multiplayer? Okay. Okay. Then create a new file option. Give a suitable name. LA underscore M. Choose very log. And then okay. And close it. Okay. Now after that, you need to right click. Go to edit option. I already written the code. I need to just do the copy paste. So uh, whatever name file name I have given here, Array underscore M, same thing I need to give here. Should be in small letter. So uh, the structure is you know the syntax, what you need to do module, then some suitable name. So I have given the name of array M, whatever file name I have given here, exactly same name you need to give here, then a little work. Then you will know uh, in this uh, array multiplier, you have four outputs that is S3, S2, S1, S0 that I have taken as the output variable. You have four input variable that is a0, a1, a2, sorry, a0, a1, b0, and b1. Okay. So I have declared the input and output here. And along with that one, I need some intermediate variable. Why these intermediate variables are required? You know, out of this end gate, some results are there that will be used uh, in the half header input. Okay. For example, here I got the result of a1, b0. So I can use variable y1 to store this result, okay? Because Y1, I need to apply in 
half header to get the output from the half header. Like similarly, from here also you are getting A0, B1 that you can consider as Y0. And this Y0 you need to apply to the other input of this half header. Similarly, from this end gate, you are getting the result of A1, B1 that you can store in Y2 variable. So that's why in this program, you need to have some variables uh, which will be used to store the intermediate result and I have taken as Y0, Y1, Y2. Now, if you take these intermediate variables, you need to use this syntax of where. So I have written this syntax where and this thing. Now, after that, as you have four end gate in this circuit, so each of the end gate output I need to get, each of the end gate output I need to get. So I have used uh, four end gate and this S0 is one of the output where you have given A0, B0. Then Y1 is the intermediate result. Just now what I told or what I have used the where. So Y0 is having the end result of A0 and B1. Y1 is having the end result of A1, B0 and Y2 is having the end result of A1, B1. So I got all the end result. Okay. So out of these four end result, you need to use Y0, Yn and Y1 and Y2 for the next operation because these things you need to apply in a half header. So you see, I have used half header function to do that operation. So I have written this function as half underscore header. And from this half header, you know, two outputs will be there. One is sum one and carry one. So I have written S1 and C1. So whatever C1 you are getting that you need to propagate to the next half header. If you can remember this diagram or this circuit, whatever the carry result you got from here that you need to propagate to the next half header. So, okay. So in the second half header, this is one of the input. The carry of the previous half header will be one of the input and S sum and carry means S2 and S3 will be your output. So, S2 and S3 are the output you can see here and carry of the previous output that is C1 what you have bought from the previous half header that you are applying as an input along with the Y2 and Y2 you got as an intermediate result that I already explained. Okay, and you need to do N module. Now you have to be very careful as you are using a half header function your program won't understand this half header. So for that you need to write a separate code of the half header. So here I have written a separate code. You can see I, again, I have started module, then half header. So you know in half header, uh, four variables you need to use, two variables X and Y for sum and carry result and M and N as an input. So I have declared the input M and I declare the output X, Y. So I have assigned X equal to M, X or N, the sum result and Y is carrying the uh, carry result that is M and N. You know very well, these are the equation of sum and carry in case of half header. Okay, so this is all about the program. After that, what do you need to do? You can save the program, then go to compile option, compile all, then go to simulate, start simulation. You need to click on this plus option. You need to select both the files. You press the control option of your keyboard, control uh, key of your keyboard, then select both the files, then okay. Fine. Now, you know, here both the functions came. Uh, half header one, half header two, and half header all these things came. And here you see RAM, the program is there. And along with that one, half header program is also there. And in this case, you know, we need to give input only in the uh, RAM function. Half header I have used as a sub program. So I no need to give any input here. Directly I'll give, assign the input in the input lines of the original circuit that is S that is A0, A1, B0 and B1. These are the my input lines of the end main circuit. And what are the outputs? S0, S1, S2, S3 I need to check. Okay. So you no need to give any input to this half header variables. Okay. So for that's why I'll be selecting only the array M function means you need to click here, then right click. Add to wave all items in the region. Then go there. Here, what do you need to do? You need to select some suitable input. Now, for example, if you want to get the multiplication of this particular example, what I told, that is 1, 0 with 0, 1, you check what should be the output. Uh, theoretically, means it should be 0, it should be 1, this should be 0, this should be 0. Am I correct? 
zero, this one is zero, this is zero. Okay. So what should be the result? This is zero, this one, this zero, and carry is not there. Carry is also last bit means this bit will also be zero. So this is your S0, this S1, this S2, and S3 will be zero because no carry is there in this problem. So I'll be using this one zero and zero one input and I'll check whether I'm getting this output or not. So first apply one zero. So one one should be applied in A1. So I need to check which one is A1. This A1. Here I need to give it to force option right click. And here you apply one. Okay. Then make A0 as zero. Force zero. So I have taken the value of one zero. Now I need to take uh, zero one if I am not wrong. Zero one. So uh, B1 should be zero. B1 should be zero. Okay, and B0 should be 1. You need to follow the correct order. B1 is MSB and B0 is LSB. Okay, so you have given the input. Now you need to check whether you are getting the output. Uh, whatever you got uh, theoretically that is uh, that you are getting from this simulation result or not that you need to check. So run this. You need to click this option to uh, get the output result. here. Yeah. So you see. First, you start from S0. So what S0 is giving? S0 is 0 only. This line is low. So what you should get? S0 should 0 only. Now S1 should be 1. I need to check the S1 line. S1, you see, this S1 line height is more, means what? S1 is 1. Now come to the next uh, value, S2. S2 should be 0, and S3 is also 0, because carry is not there. So S2, S3, both should be 0. Now check S2 is 0 and uh, S3, this is also zero, okay? Zero only. Now, I will take another example and I will check. This one of the example I have taken and I, I found out that this is giving the correct result. Now, another combination also I'll verify. Take one, 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 okay? And check the multiplication. This one, one, then this is one, this one, zero, sorry. This is one, 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 zero. Then one carry will be there. So one on it should be zero and this one. So this should be the result. This is S0, S1, S2, and this is S3. This should be the correct result. Now I'll apply this thing and I'll check whether I'm getting this result or not. So make it one, go to force. Make it one. A1 also make it one. B1 also. So all the values are given as well. Okay. Now you have to run and check. Yeah. Now see, uh, according to this uh, theoretical calculation, it should be zero. Uh, it should be uh, one zero zero one means uh, S3 should be one. So I'll start from S0. S0 should be one. So I'll check S0 is one or not. So this is uh, S0 line is this one. So you see the S0 line now changed to one. Okay. Now S1, if you can remember that should be zero. So S1 line you check this S1 line. See here the S1 line is zero only. Okay. Now likewise, you can remember S2 also supposed to be zero. Now check where is your S2, S2. It is still zero only, correct only. And S3 has to be one. S3, now it is one only. Okay, so whatever result we are supposed to get, practically also we are getting the same result. So this is all about a simple very 